Okay, today I'm going to show you really quickly how to use Quizlet to create online flashcards with Excel. And it's very, very simple. Quizlet's been around for a very, very long time. Uh, and it is a free, um, free website that makes basically online digital flashcards. Uh, if you go to my Quizlet site, you can see there are a number of flashcards here. And you can have various games per flashcard. Uh, the learning game, Speller, the Test, Scatter, Space Race, these are all pretty fun ways to learn um, your vocabulary. It also has a, uh, a speech that the word, and for language teachers, although probably not perfect accents, um, sometimes it's, uh, it's a good fallback as well. So the question is, how do we create flashcards from an Excel spreadsheet? So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my email, and I'm going to pull up some of my students' work on SkyDrive. So this is a nice social uh, cloud-based uh, site that students are turning their work in for me, which is free for all of you here at Berkeley. Uh, you all get a 25 gigs of space, and so do our students. And right now I'm going to look at Brad's page, and I'm going to go to chapter 17, where he did some vocabulary. And you notice, I, what I did is I went ahead and set up this spreadsheet online for each of my students to fill out. And I put in the vocabulary terms, the, the people of importance, and a few critical thinking concept questions. And they filled in the answers. So the, the question is, how do I get this into this to share with my students? And the answer is very, very simple. Once you've created the Excel document, uh, and you or your students have filled in the answers. You are simply here in Excel going to copy and paste the first two columns. And now you're going to go back to Quizlet. And once you create an account, which is free, and you sign in, you're going to go to Create. And I'm just going to call this one Test. And you can add a description. Uh, and then when you come down here, you see this Import Data button. Once you click that button, you're going to see a large box here on the right, and you're going to paste your terms in there. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a garbled mess. How can this possibly become good flashcards that I can use in class? Uh, once you hit the Import feature, you're going to see the cards are automatically going to be created here. And bam. You can see progressive movement here, prohibition, the definition. Uh, and by the way, even though I created the Excel doc, the students are generating the answers uh, and putting those answers on their SkyDrive account, which they've shared with me. And that's how I'm getting all this. It really eliminates uh, some of the paperwork that teachers can get bogged down in. And it's a quick check online with any machine in the world to see if students have done their homework. So. Once you come down here, you do have to select a language, and this is where for language teachers, uh, you can imagine there's a plethora of them, and it does have this audio portion where it would read it back to you. I'm sure it's not perfect, but like I said, it's a great fallback if nothing else. In this case, we are going to select English as my definition and answer. And as you go through, you may find some you don't like. They're very correctable. You can click on the box, and you can add anything you want to to make sure that it's correct. If you don't like one, you can see you have an X here, which removes it. If you want to move uh, a certain one up or down, you simply click and drag, and it will move itself. It's up to you. So I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to check off some of these we don't need. And once you have done all that, at the very bottom, it says Create Set. And now you have your flashcards that are created from the work of your students and yourself via an Excel spreadsheet. So then the big question is, well, what do I do with it now? Well, you can give them, you can share a link directly to this page for your students to access it. Uh, or you can go to More Tools and go to Embed. And Embed, I'm going to select flashcards, although there are other options of games you can play. I'm going to copy this code. And now I'm going to go to Edline. Notice my symbol tie in here. All my web pages in one spot. So I'm going to go to Edline and I'm going to log in.
And if I could remember my password, that would probably be better. Now, once you're into Edline, you can take that code and you can embed it in any page you want in Edline. You can also put that code in a wiki or a blog or pretty much any site online that you have. Simply go to Edline and create a page. And I'm just going to create a document. And I'm going to call it test. And I'm going to enter uh, import, uh, I'm sorry, enter text by hand. And this box comes up. Now this is where I'm going to put, click on the HTML code. And I'm going to paste that code that I got right here from Quizlet that I copied. And then I'm going to hit update. And now you can see my cards are there. You can add classes, of course, if you would like to. It's completely up to you. Uh, you can allow comments. That could make for a great discussion opportunity as well. Up to you again. Save and return. So now when I go to my page, this is what students are going to see on Edline. And all the features are available there. You even have different games that they can play, like spelling, uh, learning where they scatter. Uh, it's, uh, it's well. And that, in a quick synopsis, is how you can use Quizlet and Excel together. If you'd like to learn more, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this.